good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. How y'all doing this afternoon? Woo! Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What up? What up, what? Oh, I like to let this thing warm up a little bit. Let it warm up a little bit. Get into the spirit. I don't look at me like that. My little dog. You trying to get up here, ain't you? You know it, ain't you? You just know it. Trying to see what's going on, ain't you? I don't blame you. Everybody ain't know what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know what to break. Fast or what you want to talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Bro. <laughs> yes, Lord. Scoot throw. He like. Bro. You can not get my water, you know what I'm talking about? Listen, you got some water over here. Yep, dope right there. Yes. Why are you tap dancing? Mm. Let's see. You know, to the Tyler, you know, talking about Tyler say, Father, we love you. And, oh, excuse me, wait a minute, hold on. You know, we know we love the Lord. We know the love loves us. But I have to let my baby step know that I love you. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. And the other thing I have to let you know. Is you know, and this is for everybody, but there's some things that's not for everybody. But this part is for some of everybody. You know, things of the past are behind us for a reason. If we are still here, that's for a reason. You know what I'm talking about? It's for a reason, not for a season. Because, see, that was a season. So as we continue to move forward, as y'all continue, you know what I'm talking about? We are behind you. Press on. You know what I'm talking about? Press on. You know, because there's a lot of people that would love to see you stuff. A lot of people want to pop up, you know what I'm saying, when they see you doing a new thing, see you got a little thing going on. You know what I'm talking about? They ain't coming to congratulate. They coming to hate. But they going to see what they going to see anyway. Because we ain't invisible. You don't talk about. I know I'm a big old joint. You can't miss me. You don't talk about. Woo. Lord. And, you know, we got that glow. That glow of God. That glow that comes out through our heart. You don't talk about. So, you know, it is what it is. I love my baby. If you're in that same situation, you're in a situation like that, love your baby. You know what I'm talking about? I love my real. I didn't gave her this. You know what I'm talking about? She just Lord. That she gave me a hers. So I protect it. So if I catch a joint, you know, I have to let them know. You know what I'm talking about? And I seen her do the same thing. You know what I'm talking about? I seen this in the spirit, and I'm just like, was floored. You know what I'm talking about? Was flabbergasted. It's like, yes, I'm gonna marry this joint. You know what I'm talking about? Lord, I love you, girl, woman, lady, my real. I love you. Well, we gonna get on into this Tyler. You know what I'm talking about? Get on into this little Tyler. 
the Lord he been on me. He's been hitting me. You know, from my left and right, just downloading me with different things to the point that I had my coworkers scared of what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? You would think I was threatening this man's life. You know what I'm talking about? And I was having just a general conversation. You know what I'm talking about? But I, you know what I'm saying? I try to tell it how it is, how, how I see it. You know what I'm saying? And if it makes sense, woo, you know what I'm talking about? You know, because we, we got a joint towards me around this here place. You know, man. they call it the beast of Great Road or whatever. And, you know, it's like uh, something that don't supposed to exist. And I need you to give me one second. There you go. You all right? Huh, now back at it. Now, this thing is supposed to not exist. But if you look in the, the pharaohs into that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you look at some of the pictures that they drew on the walls inside of the temples and things, you know what I'm saying? You'll see dog men in there, you know what I'm talking about, dog, people heads, just dogs, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm like, you know, I don't really too much believe things that I don't see, but I've seen some things that I don't want to see, you know what I'm talking about, and um, as that has happened, you know, it, it's something to change my life, I know that, you know, because now I have a more broader understanding and a perception of things that can occur. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. You know, we talk about aliens and ghosts and all that type of things, you know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of supernatural stuff be happening around me, you know what I'm talking about? And I just, you know, I thank God for the experience, but then again, I'd be like, ooh, you know what I'm talking about? And it's just, it's authentic or nothing. So, you know, I'm talking to the coworker or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I put that to him, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't from here, he's from a different country. So he like, he ain't up on that, what I was telling him about was the joint around this joint, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I'm, I'm talking to him. He said, uh, we're talking about aliens. He said, yeah, we call them the strangers. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they are. They're stranger to us. <laughs> you know what They're stranger to us. You know, and, you know, I was reading somewhere where they said that there's a black hole that's going at a rapid rate of speed. And I believe I mentioned that on here or either on TikTok or you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, y'all go on over there to TikTok and y'all you know, holler at some of them joints too, you know what I'm saying? I've been busy today, you know what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, I had to make up a little bit from uh, our father saying, be still, you know what I'm saying, to get some rest. You know, I still ain't get much rest, but I got enough, you know what I'm saying, to renew my strength. We renew our strength through our father. You know what I'm saying? I just woke up. I went to sleep praying and I woke up praying. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm praying again. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, that's my motto. If you get what you gonna get, you know what I'm talking about? You get what you pray for, pray again. The joint be like, oh, I got what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? And go on about their business and then forget to thank the Lord again. Like they ain't gonna need him again. We always need him. That's why I'm loving the, the title of this. You know what I'm saying? Father, we love you. You know what I'm saying? And when you love something or someone, you love it continuously, consistently. You know what I'm saying? That's just like I tell my baby, I love you consistently, unconditionally. You know what I'm talking about? 
Because people would love to try to bring up some things to have us turn against each other. Just because they know that, you know, we had each other. You know what I'm talking about? Just because they know, you know, oh, well, let's see what kind of devil meant this a cause. If I, if I put this out and say that, you know what I'm talking about? And most of the time it be from people that we know and we think that we trust. You know what I'm saying? They be trying to knock you out of position. That's what they be trying to do. But I stand firm by my kingdom wife. I stand firm by you, baby. You understand? Because of what God has shown me. You hear me? What God has shown me. Then, you know, it's just more further confirmation back to back. You know what I'm saying? From what I've seen. I'm talking about. And I hope it's the same way for you. Because we shall testify before God's throne. You know what I'm talking about? Let me go back into this so I can get into the spirit. You know, we, we tend deep in this chain. So, I was talking about the black hole. He said that joint is running through the galaxy at a fast rate of speed. Now, it's a few theories, a few things, that, you know what I'm saying, that I want to talk on with that. You know, like, what if it's one that's going faster than the one that they clocked? You know what I'm talking about? This particular one that they clocked happens to be spitting out stars. You know what I'm talking about? New stars. Then you get to thinking about the alternate realities. You know what I'm talking about? The different dimensions. You know. People be like, oh, well, I'm in the third dimension, I'm in the fourth dimension, I'm in the fifth dimension, you know what I'm talking about? And, you know, maybe they are. But the way that I see it, as me and you can see each other, you know what I'm talking about? We in this dimension. Maybe the things that we can't see is in this dimension. You know what I'm talking about? And every now and then, there comes an anomaly where it, you know what I'm talking about? So then we witness each other. We, you know what I'm talking about? We, ooh, you know what I'm talking about? Like, ooh, what was that? You know what I'm talking about? And God loves to just surprise me. He just, he, ooh, <laughs> Lord, I love you. You know what I'm talking about? He don't be trying to hurt me, but you going to give me a heart attack one day. You know what I'm talking about? Lord Jesus. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Don't give me a heart attack one day with one of those surprises. I'm telling you. And uh, I just pray against that. You know what I'm talking about? Because I seen something the other day. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I, I know I mentioned seeing uh, the head when I had a dream. I seen the head with blonde hair floating in the water, but it was like I was seeing it from up underneath, like I was in the water, you know what I'm saying? And I couldn't really make out the face, you know what I'm saying? And I was at work. I was about to get ready to go on break. joint was like at the window like you know what I'm saying so I'm like did the joint drown how did the head come off you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm saying I don't know why he let me see this joint I ain't the police I ain't the autopsy people no problem you know what I'm saying I'm just me you know what I'm talking about this is no authentic or nothing and I'm like you know I still go back to Lord why don't you let me hit the lottery like that you know what I'm talking about like you see, I know why you want to bless me differently. And I appreciate you, Lord. I appreciate you. I thank you. You are the way maker. Let you make the way. You know what I'm talking about? Let you make the way. You know, you know that deal spitting out. New stars, 
And then I'll be, uh, since I found this out, you know, I've been wondering, like, so what if that joint came into our, you know what I'm saying, like, aim and, you know, hit us. Will we come back out whole? That's why we have to pray, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all kind of things going on in this universe. We're thinking about what's going on in the hood, what's going on right here, what's going on in the salon, what's going on over here, what they talking about. We ain't thinking about the bigger picture. I'm talking about the picture that God drew, his design. That's why we love you, Lord Jesus, for leaving us this map. I'm talking about leaving us this map. Because, you know, as it says in Revelation, these are the last days. So we must pray. You know what I'm about? We must pray. You know. Man. So think about things. You know, it makes me pray even more. You know, because I don't know what's to come. I be having crazy dreams. I'm talking about where it feel like I'm looking at hell. I had a couple of dreams where I done woke up and went back into them dreams, you know what I'm saying? And it was like his it let me continue that journey into that dream so I could see. You know what I'm talking about? To be able to come back and, and say something about it. You know, or maybe she always tell me, you know what I'm saying, don't hold back, don't that me suppress what God wants me to put out. You know what I'm talking about? Because obviously he wants me to put that out. But just like me and her both agree, you know what I'm saying? Our joint is private. You know? And people need to respect boundaries. Those people that can't respect those boundaries, Keep on doing what they're doing. You know, you'll face his judgment. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't got to do nothing but keep on being us. Keep on loving each other. Keep on loving others. You know what I'm talking about? And that don't mean that we don't love you. Because we love you enough to ask you to stop. You know what I'm talking about? Before Father get his hands on you. You know what I'm talking about? See, we go and we pray. Here they come in behind us to see what we're praying about so they can run back and go gossip. They need to be praying about something that they need instead of being a devil energy. Worrying about the next person in the wrong manner. Worry about us in the right manner. Worry about helping us stay together. Because that's what people don't do. They don't stick together. I look at different races, different nationalities and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just hollered at about, what was it, three brothers. You know, they got them a restaurant together. You know what I'm talking about? They, they breaking the generational curse. And they happen to be Hispanic. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, if we thought that way, then we would be further advanced and ahead in life than where we are. You know what I'm talking about? Because when it's just one person doing it, or one person want to take all the glory, something always goes wrong. You know what I'm talking about? When you forced into that situation, that's when, you know, pressure bus pipes will make diamonds. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. I give you some more knowledge, you know, some more wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Some more unity, some more togetherness, some more love. That's what God wants. You know what I'm talking about? It is authentic to nothing. You know, I, I get a sugar coated old man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. I was talking to uh, another good man, you know what I'm saying? Man of God. And I don't really like using that term, man, because God is the man to me. You know what I'm talking about? We all children, we his children. I was talking to another good, good, good guy, and we was talking about Deuteronomy. We was talking about the earth and who the earth belongs to. You know what I'm saying? And 
from my perception of the Bible, you know, from what I see, you know, the earth was the garden that was cast down. It was cast down from the heavens, the universe, right? And then I get to thinking about that black hole. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> now that that didn't hit me and came to me, you know what I'm saying? And God didn't hit me and anything, you know what I'm talking about? You know, when he cast down the garden, he also had Satan there. Because that's where Satan was cutting up at. That's where he was tricking and manipulating God's creation, us. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that he sent there to tend to his garden. Because he didn't send the devil immediately to hell. The devil damned himself to hell. To an eternity of misery and dread. You know what I'm talking about? He damned himself to that. But he did leave him in the garden in order to give him a chance, because our, our God is a God of chance, to give him a chance to repent. And after all these millenniums, that joint's still cutting up. You know what I'm talking about? And we've been left here to be. The garden tenders, you know what I'm talking about? The gardeners of this place. And the demons are like weeds. We have to pluck them out. You know what I'm talking about? In order to have something beautiful here. That's why they say we make heaven on earth. You know what I'm talking about? So we have to out of ourselves and out of others. You know what I'm talking about? To, to help them to get out of devil energy. That's why we say what we say out of love. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's what God wants. He wants us to say that out of love. He don't want us to come cussing you, come fussing at you, none of that stuff. You know, and like I told my baby, you know what I'm saying? Don't expect no scolding from me because of what a joint that ran around with the mouth flapping talking about. We got bigger and better things to do. We are adults. We are grown. We have children. We're trying to put together a family. We're trying to grow. We're trying to go forward. We're trying to have things. You know, a lot has been taken from us because of people in devil energy. You know what I'm talking about? Those weeds had to be plucked out of our lives in order for us to thrive and survive in the light of God so he can grow us as flowers so we can bloom, you know what I'm talking about? So we can bloom into what he wants us to become. He'll do the same thing to them but they won't turn to seek his face. You know what I'm talking about? I love getting into the spirit. He, he got me. I told you he been hitting me with different things. Now, you know, like, like I said, that black hole, you know, spitting out other stars. You know, the earth was a star at one point until it got sparked with life. So all those new stars eventually will be sparked with life, just like they find you know, life activities on other planets. You know what I'm and it just happened to be our turn. And our turn happened to be nosy to see, hey, who else out this giant? You know what I'm talking about? Because... <laughs> You know, in a sense, science is seeking God's face. But then in a twist of fate, the devil was here. So the devil like, oh, uh, well, you know, we can manipulate things. You know what I'm talking about? You know, because a lot of the science, they, you know, they, they doing things that is ungodly. You know what I'm talking about? Like babies out of nowhere. Things like that. You know what I'm talking about? That's, that's ungodly. That ain't the way. You know what I'm talking about? So then, you know, we think, or I think, is this being soulless? You know what I'm saying? When I think about those type of things, then they mixing things together, you know what I'm saying? Ligers and you know, all kind of craziness, you know what I'm saying? But, well, but monkey dogs and all kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's an abomination to what 
he originally intended for us. I'm talking about I'm old school. I want me a, 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 we ain't regular, but I just want me a normal family. Some somewhat normal. You know what I'm saying? We something else. You know what I'm talking about? Because God made us that way. You know what I'm saying? We ain't nothing like you used to. You know what I'm saying? Because he he didn't had us to tap in with him. And he didn't done things with us. He didn't gave us the strength to amplify our gifts, to be able to use them for his will. And like I tell my baby, she my first lady. You know what I'm talking about? You my first lady, baby. Stay in the word. You heard? Don't worry about what no joint is talking about. Because they ain't God. They don't have the final say over your life. Mine neither. You know, I don't join for real. <laughs> you talking about? That's what you talking about? You ain't talking about nothing, Jack. You talking about? You see something that's tangible, you know. And that only means material. But let me see something tangible. You know, that ain't, that ain't, it's not growing me. It's not elevating me. You see what I'm saying? You run around like a school kid, gossiping. And see, I pray to get out of, uh, you know what I'm saying? How y'all doing that? I pray to get out of that type of energy, you know what I'm saying? Because, see, I like to joke, I like to laugh, I like to play, you know what I'm saying? But then I know when to stop. I know when things are serious. I, I'm an adult, I'm grown. I know when something is going to hurt somebody. You know what I'm talking about? So I won't go there. You know what I'm talking about? And, and that that is a blessing to me. Not let alone the, the feelings of whoever. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not perfect. And neither are the people that's running their mouths. You know what I'm talking about? They running their mouths like, like, like they boo-boo don't stink. Like they don't boo-boo. You know what I'm talking about? But remember this. They talking about you. Because they must feel like they ain't nothing. You know what I'm talking about? That's why we gotta, we still got to raise they chill. Gotta raise they chill. You know what I'm talking about? Because they can run around scanning and grinning, baby. But God is the one that's winning, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Cause he's having his way with us, using us in the way that he wants to. He's having his way with us, and they upset about that. You know what I'm talking about? But they upset about their setup. You know what I'm talking about? They set that up, and now they upset. You know what I'm talking about? Cause they went. Ah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. They can't get in my ear with that. Cause I ain't trying to hear it. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not trying to hear it. I'm trying to hear something good. That's why I be by myself. <laughs> Come on. If I ain't with my family or with true friends and people who really care about me, who want to see me do better, just like I want to see them do better, then I ain't involved. Don't put my name off in no mess. I'm talking about I got my own mess. You know, and I want to be clean and junk. You talking about? And I pray my baby do the same. You know what I'm talking about? Dust them feet off. I told you I'm going to wash your feet some water. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, the way I'm talking about it. You see, people love it to, to sneak in and, and eavesdrop on you. You see what you're talking about? They go run back and twist. That's what I was saying about the press You know what I'm saying? They, they'll run and see what you're praying about. They'll run back and go twist it. You know what I'm saying? To see what kind of chaos they can cause, what kind of drama they can bring. You know what I'm saying? They try to use that as a weapon, as a tool. But as we have bigger minds than them, I guess, we know what they're up to. So, you know what I'm talking about? Next, light, please. Now we're finna get on and off into this title. You know what I'm saying? I got into the spirit, and I hope.
that just resonates with you to the point that you, I wouldn't say that you don't care, but you don't care. You don't know come up, not about that, because it's not important. We have children. And see, that's the thing that they don't they don't care of. They don't care about. We have children. And they're getting older. And they're hearing this. And they're hearing that. Then other kids is hearing this and hearing that. Then they were turning around trying to bully them. And then if we go off about our babies, then we look like we wrong. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm, I'm protected from my family. You know what I'm talking about? God give me somebody that love me like that. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, all bets is off. You better let mine alone. You know what I'm talking about? Because we ain't come here to play. We come here to learn. We come here to, to be prosperous. We come here to grow and be happy. You know what I'm talking about? That is our portion. That is our birthright. And you gonna let us have ours because you think you have yours or you want to have yours. You ain't gonna get it in that way. Not dealing with this, these people here. You know, come on. Mm -mm. We ain't going. You know what I'm saying? And I stand on that. I'm talking about. Don't don't try it, please. I'll be preaching from a cell, and I don't want that. <laughs> Lord, let me get in here. Cause you know, I know that my stepchildren might run across this, and I want them to know that they are protecting and they loved. You know what I'm talking about? You are protecting and you are loved, just like you are my own. You understand me? No matter what else is going on in this world, know that you are loved. And I want the best for you. Ooh. It's Psalms 146. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto the Lord. God, while I have any being, you know, that's why we have any breath in our body, you know what I'm saying? We praise you, Lord Jesus. It says, put not your trust in princes, nor the son of man, in whom there is no help. Because we get our help, we get our strength, we get our love, we get our guidance from God. Talking about, we get it from him. I'm talking about, he downloads it into us so that we be able to continue to thrive, continue to grow, continue to have ideas because we are from an idea. You know what I'm talking about? If you think about it, it's like this dirt right here, let me rub them around, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm talking about? And up we come. We, Lord, <laughs> I'm talking about. It says, his breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose help, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, which made heaven. And earth, the sea, and all therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord loseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bow down the Lord loveth the righteous the Lord preserveth the strangers he reliveth the fatherless and widow but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down he, I'm telling you 
God get a hold to you for all the things you think you're doing. I ain't got to, I ain't got to sit down. I ain't got to stop. I ain't got to sit down. I ain't got to stop. Why are you sneaking in there? Trying to be know, see what's going on. You need to really be praying for your soul, for your salvation, for all the things that you do. And that don't mean that you go in there and pray and that that's over with. That you done prayed for that and now you ain't got to worry about that no more. You can go back and keep doing what you're doing. No, he will put a permanent end to that. You better, hey, look at the news. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Watch that. Watch that. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye thee, the Lord. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the admiration. You know what I'm talking about? We give you our souls. You see, every time they go do that, they selling their soul. Every time somebody talk down, talk bad about you, they selling their soul. You know what I'm talking about? Because if you think about affirmations and you you speaking positive over things, more than likely it's going to come out positive. If you think about things negatively, the energy rubs off and more than likely it's going to turn out negative. That's just like, and this is anybody I believe, if somebody is around you always negative, it's going to rub off on you. Then now you negative. And you have to have a strong will to be able to fight that off. That's why we pray. We pray about it. But then we also separate ourselves from that. You know what I'm talking about? When we can't take it no more. And when it follows in behind us, we pray even harder. You know what I'm talking about? And that's when God kicks in and takes over and change the situation. He is the narrator while y'all running around with all these stories. You know what I'm talking about? He is the narrator. He writes the manuscript. Give our father his praise. Leave him to his job. You know what I'm talking about? What, what part of that is not an understanding that we can't get. You know what I'm talking about? What part is that? You know, me coming from doing the music industry to being in the streets to doing this, I didn't experience that. Like I told my baby already, when I was young, young, when I was doing music, you know what I'm talking about? People running their mouth, doing this and that and the third. You know what I'm saying? Now, I come up in the era with the Tupac and Biggie deal. You know what I'm talking about? Where well, people still funking over there right now. You know what I'm talking about? And it didn't make no sense then and it don't make no sense now. You know, we all connected. And it's a power struggle when it's enough to go around for everybody. You see somebody else elevating and growing, it ain't your duty to grab hold to their ankle. It's your duty to let them reach down and give you a hand. And when they reach down and give you a hand, it ain't your obligation to stab them in the back. Because you think whatever they got going on is better and you can just take over doing whatever they doing. You know what I'm talking about? Instead of worrying about what you're doing, your God-given gifts, your God-given talents, use them things for good and not of evil. You know what I'm talking about? Just like I was just saying about the encounter that I had that came from out my dream until that window where I seen that joint. You know what I'm talking about? You know, if I could help, I would. I don't know what's going on with that. But if you using your gifts and you got control of them, or you know you think you got control of them to where you are putting stuff together, organized, 
you should be using your gifts to solve things. You're not solving anything spreading gossip rumors and lies or keeping up gossip rumors and lies. You're not solving anything. Now you're involving yourself to become an enemy of the, whoever you're trying to target. So if y'all cool one day and the next day you ain't because of what you done done, it is what it is. Now part ways. Wash them hands. You know what I'm talking about? My baby said, wash them hands. Go head on. It's not your duty and your obligation to keep on trying to hold on to somebody trying to walk off from Because the outcome can be negative. You know what I'm talking about? And none of us want that. We all want to get ahead. We all want to do the best. We all want to be the best. You know, if you got that much information, tell us the lottery number. You know what I'm talking about? Don't tell us about who is fucking. You know what I'm talking about? That ain't got nothing to do with life if it ain't happening to you. You see what I'm saying? What is you doing? And forgive me, Lord, but you know I keep it unsure code. I keep it all the way real. You know what I'm talking about? I repent. I rebuke myself for that. I don't need your help on that. I need his help on that. You know what I'm talking about? But he put it in me to put it about me the way he do. He didn't put none of that devil stuff in you like that. You allowing the devil to come in and control your life and project things off onto others. You know what I'm talking about? Now, how would you like it if somebody was doing that to your kids? Well, think about it. That's what you're doing to ours. You think we're going to play with you? Would you play with a joke? You know what I'm talking about? This is authentic or nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. And that's just the title on the little spirit. You know what I'm talking about? It's the title on the little spirit. If somebody had to say it just like I just said it. You know, my baby, she's too nice. I'm nice too. But I'm nice in a different way. God made me differently. You know what I'm talking about? And as he did so, you know, he using me. And I'm telling you, keep your hands on us, Lord Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? See, for all these other people running around talking about how much they love and what they got and what they do for you. I'm ten toes down with you, baby. But come on. This is authentic to nothing. Say what you want to say, what you want me to say, what you want me to say, what you want me to tell the people this evening. Because we love you, Lord Jesus. We know that you want to grow us, you want to prosper us, you don't want to harm us. You know, these people try to harm our characters. They monitor us for no good reasons. It's all right to idolize you lord they 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 putting that upon us projecting it upon us and we just trying to be your children just like they should be trying to be you know what I'm talking about we're trying to be obedient you know what I'm talking about Then, you know, Ezra, Ezra 9, and it's a solid 9, you know what I'm talking about? And Ezra 10, like 
30, 29, 30. But you already know what we're going to do. We're going to get it done early. You know what I'm talking about? We're almost a buck in this joint. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord, it's a good one. You know what I'm talking about? That's a good one. I'd like to thank all y'all that's been tuning in, that's been coming through here. You know we love you. We love you so much, so, so much. Because you love real things. You know what I'm talking about? You love real things. You know? And a lot of people get hung up on religion. And that's full of politics. When we be dealing with things of the spirit and, and reality, you know what I'm talking about? We don't wrestle with flesh, we wrestle with spirit. And all that stuff that I just got through talking about is bad spirits that's coming out of people that's projecting those things. And how they're projecting it, they're trying to get the light off of them because they don't know how to handle it, I guess. So they'll put a negative light on to someone else. You see what I'm saying? Just for some juicy gossip. Somebody to run back and keep on spreading around. You know, like I said, we have children. And they're getting older. We don't want them spirits on there. You know what I'm talking about? She is authentic or nothing. <laughs> He says, For we were bondsmen, yet our God have not forsaken us in our bondage, but have extended mercy unto us in the sight of the king of Persia to give us a thriving to set up the house of our God and to repair the desolation thereof and to give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. See, God was helping to give them more freedom. He delivered them from the bondage. He gave them the thought and the idea to put up a wall, that wall of defense, that wall that we put up when we say we want our things to be private. You know what I'm talking about? See, y'all been focusing in on that, on the baby, on that portion. But then here come God intervening with somebody who loves her. Just, just loves her. You know what I'm talking about? Love the crap out of us. He come in, intervening, putting up that wall. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all joints can go run, try to dig, see what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? First thing y'all did, and I'll tell you about yourself. Y'all went and tried to see what kind of criminal activities I was on. You know what I'm talking about? Not knowing that I ain't no felon. But just off looking at me, that's what you imagined in your head. You know what I'm talking about? You put me in a whole movie without paying me. You know what I'm talking about? Straight up. See, it's authentic as nothing. I can't make this chat up. Lord Jesus. Did, did this script right here that I just said go? 
along with the talent. You know what I'm talking about? The talent. Ooh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Keep using us to teach, preach, reach, and grow. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and we're running that jam. And now, oh our God, we shall. Well, no, what shall we say after this? Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Time out. We love you, Lord Jesus. That's what we just say. It's confirmation after confirmation. You know, the devil don't like the truth. You know what I'm talking about? He don't like it when you put it down how it, how it really actually is. You know what I'm talking about? He don't like that. He calls all kind of distractions. And that's what those people are. They're all kind of distractions. They want to distract you from your purpose. You see what I'm saying? But God said, we ain't having that. He said, we ain't having that. And a whole nother joint that just jumped up. You know what I'm talking about? And I pray that you listen to me, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Because all that goofy stuff that you're doing for attention is just ridiculous. It's a whole lot more that you can be doing for yourself, for your family, and for our people in general. That's why I'm doing this. This is for our people in general. See what I'm saying? And it serves multiple purposes because it's for my family as well. For the one that, that God gifted me and for the one that, that's my blood. I'm talking about. This is something that they need in their life. They need some truth. They need somebody real that will tell them what it is. You know what I'm talking about? That they're dealing with. So they be able to handle it better. So they know that they're not alone. You understand? Because a lot of people don't make it this far. They've been an off they self because of bullying and because of lies, rumors, gossip. You have people thinking a certain way about you, like you're sweet or something. You know what I'm saying? And they be coming trying to try you. When they really should be trying to try God. Because that's who they fighting. You know what I'm talking about? That's who you're fighting when you try to stop somebody from elevating, from growing, from moving on, moving forward. You fight God. You're not fighting them. Because see, if God is inside of us, when it's that time, it's that time. And we must keep moving forward. We can't be stuck behind, stagnant. We got to go that way. Especially us vices. You know what I'm saying? Because fish can't swim backwards. They'll drown. You know what I'm talking about? See, it's authentic enough. And I'm just telling you how it really is. You'll drown if you try to swim backwards. And these people keep on grabbing your fin, trying to pull you in. You know, hook, bait, and sink. You know, if I say this, then this going to get their attention to rile them up so they'll say something back. That's exactly what they're doing. You know what I'm talking about? They are canceled and rebuked. You are canceled and rebuked. Uprooted from out of our lives. You know what I'm talking about? We are your only claim to fame. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? If that's what you after. You know. It's, it's authentic for nothing. Ooh. It says, I'm going to run that back. And now, Oh, our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments. You see, they forgot all about the commandments of being righteous and upright. You know what I'm talking about? They come in pretending to be praying. We in there praying for our lives. We praying with our whole hearts. We ain't got time to be playing with nobody. Look at all the craziness going on. Did I just get through telling you? Go look it up. It's something flying around, spitting out planets, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You don't think that's more important than what you're talking about? Ooh. 
Lord. These people running around here starving. Then they get to brawling. You know what I'm talking about? Doing whatever it is, scratching, fighting to survive. And that's all you want to talk about? Where's your morals? Where's your respect? So we should just be keep disrespecting you? Or do you want to change your story and let God be the narrator? Because he's the narrator in our lives. He's changing our story. He's making things better. He's correcting things that was twisted and manipulated by people and devil energy. You're being used. My baby said this about a month or so ago. He being used. You know what I'm talking about? He got his hand up your behind. You know what I'm talking about? Lord Jesus. Got to break it down to them. I highly, I guess, they might can understand. You know what I'm talking about? It says, Which thou hast commanded by thy servant, the prophet, saying, The land unto which ye go to possess it is an unclean land with the filthiness of the people of the lands with their abominations which have filled it from one end to another with their uncleanliness. That's that messy mess. You know what I'm talking about? That messy mess. You know what I'm saying? Can you braille me? Can, can you go into Ezra 9 verse 11? And see what I'm talking about that's coming out your mouth? That messy mess. Is anybody else speaking it like this? Is you really putting it down while y'all and so-and-so said and God told me this and God said that? Is you really putting it down? Because if he told you all that or if you heard this and that, what did you say about it? You seeing what I'm talking about. And I stand on it. You know what I'm talking about? You can't tell me no different. Because I know what he's telling me. He's telling me just like he's showing you right in front of your face. You know what I'm talking about? To see it's authentic or nothing. Awesome. My embarrassed to love my baby because a joint running their mouth hating. They hating because they don't have the love like how God put in us for each other. I'm talking about when they can stop focusing in on somebody else and get that same feeling from somebody else. You can't have what's not yours. You can't have what God put together. Because what he put together made no man and no woman break apart. You understand? Joints be trying. They be trying their best. But they need to try their best at something else. At what's for them. You know what I'm talking about? Don't be trying to be no hindrance and no roadblock in somebody else's life. And that goes from family to exes to to strangers out on the street. Because God don't like ugly. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Lord Jesus, and I'm a joint. You talking about? So what are you? It says, and of the sons of Bani, Meshulam, Malunch, and Adina, Josh Bull, and Shalad, and Remoth, and of the sons of Fefef, Moab, Adina, and Shalad, B. 
being a myself, maintaining basil and benewed and menace <laughs> and of the sons. Yeah, I'll be murdering a lot of them names, boy. Now imagine your kids ain't this. You know what I'm talking about? Lord. You know, this is authentic or nothing. But these is our camp folk. These are the ones that the generational curses that we break in, these are some of the people that that went into those contracts. You know what I'm talking about? These are the offsprings of the offsprings of the offsprings of us. So we have to worry and focus on the offsprings of us. You see what I'm saying? Our, our younger generations. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I say it. What you doing? And Lord, we buck something in. What you doing is you you creating a generational curse. So it's like you you are actually doing spell work by doing that. What you doing? I just had an epiphany moment. You are casting a spell. You know what I'm talking about? And that must stop. We bind it to you for everything that you're saying and doing to come back onto you. Because you don't want to want it. You don't want nothing good. You don't want nothing prosperous. You don't want nothing lovely. You know what I'm talking about? You want chaos, destruction, and foolishness. Is that your portion? Because it ain't ours. You know what I'm talking about? See, it's authentic or nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all as he keep on hitting me. Plus, like I said, go holler at that old TikTok. You know what I'm talking about? Get you some of that script in there in your ear. Talking about later on.